We got a bidet. In addition to my collection. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're looking at some more Black Series figures that we got. Uh, I special ordered one that just might be my newest favorite Black Series figure. Uh, but I have a couple more to share with you before we get to the grand finale. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so I said that the last one I'm going to share with you might be my newest favorite figure that we have. Um, but all the other ones are also super cool and I wanted to share. Um, so the first one is one of my favorite characters from the Kenobi show. So if you set aside Darth Vader because he's my favorite, uh, my second favorite was the Grand Inquisitor. Was there some issues with the way he looked in the show? A little bit. Um, but that aside... He was my favorite character, so really all that we get from this figure, there's a lot of reflection, really what we get from this figure is the lightsaber and the figure, um, I don't, I don't see a lot of cloth, if any, because I feel like he has a cape in the show, oh, I see some cloth, so his cape is cloth, it's very hard to see, but you can kind of see, uh, in between his legs there's a little bit of cloth. So, uh, that comes from behind. And then, this is the trapezoid box. That means that they do have the section where if you put all of them together from the set, they make one big picture. This is number nine, my lucky number. So we got the overall back, and the bio for the Grand Inquisitor. This next one is one from the new game, Jedi Survivor, it is Cal Kestis, the man himself. Uh, unfortunately, this is one of those where you really don't get to see the figure. It's just a picture, so, you know, hopefully he is in here. You can tell it's a gaming greats, not only because it says the game that he's from on the bottom, but over here we have the official sticker that says gaming greats. They do have their own big portrait, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that if you put them all next to each other that they make so that is his he is number 17 so there are 17 um, Gaming greats in the gaming great series so far with him. I'm sure there's more because uh, You know the game came out a couple months ago. I think now maybe uh, so There's definitely been some other ones since then. Here's the backside in his bio this next one is also another one where you can't really see the figure, but it was one once I saw it, I was like, I gotta have that one. This character is from The Mandalorian, and he made a very unexpected appearance at the end of season two, and that is Luke Skywalker, and this one is the Imperial Light Cruiser Edition. So when he arrived and took Grogu from Mando. So there is his picture on the side. Again, this is from the Mandalorian series, and this is number 30 from the Mandalorian. That's insane. It's probably got to be the biggest collection yet of all the Black Series figures. The last one I got for you is probably one of the most excited, or the most excited I've ever been for a Star Wars figure, uh, because I saw that this was at a... Uh, Star Wars Celebration exclusive, but then they decided to sell them online, so I thought I had to get my hands on one. They were a little expensive, to be honest, but it's because it's a special edition, and that is the Revenge of the Jedi Darth Vader figure. So, looking at the box, we really don't get to see much of the figure. Uh, there's a handful there, so... I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit if you would like to pause and read that. Uh, but we don't really get to see much of the figure from the side. It does say it's plastic free packaging, you know, because that's what they're moving towards. There's nothing on the top, not a whole lot on the bottom. 
But what you can do without taking the figure out of the box is you can remove the little poster that's in the front. So if you take that poster out, the poster is double-sided. It is the same thing on both sides. But what you're all here for is to see this very impressive Darth Vader figure. So this is a Revenge of the Jedi inspired Darth Vader because of the art. So if you look at the art of the poster, Vader has all that red on him. This is the inspiration for the figure. So Vader has got that red all over. You do get his lightsaber as well. Um, so super neat. This is probably the closest we're ever going to get to opening a Black Series figure at this point in time. Because uh, you can actually touch it. You can touch it. Um, but yeah, everything about the figure is representative of that red on the cover. So like even the cloak and the fabric, all of that has the red like sprinkled in, so to speak. Uh, so very, very cool figure. I'm very happy that... Uh, I ordered one and made sure to get it, because uh, we had to have this one in our collection. Darth Vader is our favorite, my favorite, character in all of Star Wars, and I thought I had to grab it. Alright everybody, that about wraps up for us today. Again, we took a look at four new Black Series figures here on the channel, and the grand finale being my absolute favorite, the new Darth Vader Revenge of the Jedi Special Edition figure from Star Wars Celebration. If you enjoy this type of video where we take a look at some Black Series figures, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. We tend to have these every so often. Uh, figures are getting more expensive, so they're kind of dwindling a little bit. Um, but also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop us a like and drop us a comment letting us know what Star Wars Black Series figure you got recently that you really like. And then, as always, everybody, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.